This is the last video on constipation and we'll discuss fiber. What is fiber and how does it benefit us? Fiber are complex carbohydrates and are part of plant-based products. Fiber is part of plant-based products which cannot be digested. They are unlike simple sugars like glucose which can be absorbed by the body. Fiber cannot be absorbed from the body and is passed out in the stools. Fiber has tremendous benefits to our health. There are two types of dietary fiber, namely soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. Soluble fiber is broken down into a gel-like substance in the colon and digested by bacteria. Soluble fiber is mainly found in fruits, oats, barley, beans and peas. Insoluble fiber is not broken down and is left intact in the gastrointestinal tract. It prevents constipation by increasing the bulk of stools. Bulky stools speed up movement of water through the intestine. Insoluble fiber may be found in whole wheat, bran, nuts and beans. Many high fiber foods will contain a combination of both soluble and insoluble fiber. What are some of the health benefits of fiber? The benefits of soluble fiber include lowers fat absorption and in doing so it helps weight reduction. It stabilizes blood sugar because it slows down sugar absorption. It reduces blood cholesterol by preventing cholesterol from the diet from being digested. It reduces the risk of coronary artery disease by reducing fat, cholesterol and sugar absorption. It is food for gut bacteria, allowing it to thrive. And good bacteria is good for overall health. What are the benefits of insoluble fiber? It prevents constipation by increasing the bulk of stools. And bulky stools speeds up the movement of waste to the intestine. It reduces the risk of diverticular disease which are tiny pockets in the lining of the colon, swelling of veins in the anus called hemorrhoids, and colon cancer. Both soluble and insoluble fibers slow down digestion. This means food stays longer in the digestive system. When food stays longer in the gut, the person has a feeling of being full. This reduces the tendency for the patient to overeat. Consequently, it helps in Weight reduction. The recommended daily fiber intake for an adult is 25 to 30 grams per day. Some tips on a fiber rich diet. If fiber intake is inadequate, start on a low dose of fiber and increase it every one to two weeks until the desired effect is achieved or troublesome flatulence occurs. Increasing fiber doesn't work immediately and may take a few weeks to reach the desired effect. Eating fruits with the skin and peel intact is beneficial as these are rich in fiber. Fiber content depends on how the food is prepared and whether it's eaten raw, cooked, boiled, fried or baked. Canned and processed foods have less fiber than fresh and whole foods. A fiber-rich diet includes fresh fruits and vegetables, legumes, grains and nuts. It is better to get daily fiber from natural foods rather than fiber supplements. This is because as natural foods also contain vitamins and minerals and other nutrients which are not found in fiber supplements. This slide shows the fiber content in 100 gram servings of the following vegetables. The vegetables that have a high content of fiber are peas, 
artichoke, Brussels sprouts, carrots, and broccoli. So this is the fiber content in 100 grams of servings of these vegetables. This table shows you the fiber content in fruits. The highest fiber content is in prunes. 10 dried prunes have about 12.4 grams of fiber. Whole prunes are much better than prune juice as far as fiber content is concerned. Then we have guava, pear with skin, dates, an apple with skin, a banana, orange. These are the average fiber contents in these fruits. This is the fiber content in 100 gram servings of legumes, grains, and nuts. As you can see, some of these have the highest content of fiber of any foodstuff. For example, kidney beans have a whopping 15.2 grams of fiber in every 100 grams. Lentils, 7.9. Chickpeas, 7.6. Lima beans, 7. Baked beans, 6.4. These are all high fiber content legumes. If you look at grains, oat bran has 15.4 grams of fiber per 100 gram serving. Sprouted grain bread has 10.8. Vitabix has 10. 100% whole wheat bread has 7. It is important that when you purchase the bread, you must find out what is the percentage of whole wheat in the bread because not all makes of bread have the same amount of whole wheat. And the two nuts which have got a high content of fiber are almonds, the 7.4, and peanuts at 6.4 grams per 100 gram servings. So this shows you the high fiber legumes, grains, and nuts. Thank you.